the Cerebral Assassin, the King of Kings, the game, Triple H. My favorite wrestler of all time. He's right there with Hulk Hogan, and he's just the one guy that's always caught my eye, that I know that every time he goes out there, he's going to have a good match. Uh, I've always pointed out that he's had good matches against Takamichi Nuku. Uh, I mean, he's <laughs> he's pulled good matches out of his ass with the Brooklyn Brawler that are believable with Al Snow and everything. I just, he is the best wrestler in the world. And last year uh, at WrestleMania, I honestly went into Mania believing that he was going to win. And that match with Undertaker took everything out of me. I left everything on the table. I honestly, I know that The, the Miz and uh, Cena was on after that. I don't remember if, I think the Jersey Shore match uh, came on uh, after that also. I, I don't remember anything after it. I honestly, I, I thought he had him a hundred times. He kicked the shit out of the Undertaker. He beat him from post to post, inside of the ring, outside of the ring. He gave him everything that he could. And just like Shawn Michaels, he made one mistake. And I waited all year. Uh, there were the rumors that, you know, when he came out there and he challenged the Undertaker, that whenever the Undertaker was ready to come back, that we were going to get the match at SummerSlam. That match at SummerSlam never came. And I just, I always had it in the back of my mind that Triple H needed one more shot to beat the Undertaker. And even when the match was finally announced, I know this is a really, really big um, one for the Undertaker. He's he's going from 19-0, he's going for number 20. I know that, you know, that's, that, that, that's a big magical number because... Honestly, Taker's never going to get to 25. He's never going to get to 30. This is the last big number he's going to have. I hope to God, if I was, you know, if Taker's able to stand, if he's able to walk to the ring and have any sort of match, the money that's on the table, it has to be, you know, Undertaker and Cena. They've kept these guys away from each other for so long. They had matches um, when, you know, he first debuted. Um in 2002 somewhere along that line on smackdown i'm not even sure it was a pay-per-view i think it was, a, it was it was a tv match but i mean they've kept these guys away from each other for so long that you know um it, if he is gonna go to the next wrestlemania i mean that's the match that it has to be but the mania match that it is right now is triple h and everybody thinks it's a given that he's going to and and even when this match was announced and it was rumored, and they were heading into this was just going to be a normal, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one match. And if it was going to be a no-holds-barred match again or something like that. I honestly was like, you know what? I'm going to put my Triple H game face on. He is my favorite guy, and I'm going to root for him. But it's it's 20-0. You know, it's, you know, that that's the number for the taker. And, you know, I might be able to tell some people that I think he's going to win. But taker's going to win this match. But they changed the game. They put it in the Hell in the Cell, as everybody knows by now. And I don't know, man. I honestly think Triple H is going to do it this time again. I think that changes the game. I mean, when you get inside the character of Triple H, the guy that will go above and beyond and do anything, he will he will slap your mother in the face if he knows that he's going to be able to win that match. That's all he really cares about is being able to walk out of that match with his hand raised. He will do any dirty tactic in the book that he has to do. He does not care whether he's face or whether he's heel. He's going to be the same guy that he's always been. He's going to do everything he can to walk out of there and get his hands raised. And I think that once you put them inside the hell in the cell, everybody thinks it's a given that that's Taker's match since he wrestled in the first match. But guess what? He lost that match. And he, he's lost hell in the cell matches more than he's won. And that can be used against Triple H. This is at WrestleMania, where his record is seven and eight, and um, that doesn't sound that good for you know a Sherby Hall of Famer, uh, for a guy that everybody says everything's handed to him, that he just you know snaps his finger at the McMahon family and he gets whatever he wants. You know, um, everybody likes to point out that you know he you know stopped the the Booker T push. Booker T was supposed to win at nineteen, and and somehow one thing or another somebody got in somebody's ear. And, uh, you know, that got stopped. But, I mean, like, he beat Jericho. He beat uh, uh, Booker T. He beat <laughs> Randy Orton in the WrestleMania 25-minute 20, event that I, I think everybody in the world wishes never happened. Uh, he won a minor minor title from uh, Owen Hart. Uh, he beat Sheamus at WrestleMania 26, who was a former champion at the time. But except for that, who the hell is he really be else did he beat? He beat Goldust. 
Uh, he's he, he put over three guys in a row. He made three stars for that company. He made he made Chris Benoit champion at 20. He put over Batista and made him, and he helped put over John Cena and take him to new heights as well. He's a guy that's given back uh, to, to, to the WWE and, and made stars as much as anybody else. I don't I don't understand all the, the, the negative stuff that gets given to him. I understand that he married into the family, but I honestly don't think a guy's going to be wanting to get into that family so bad that he's going to marry Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, there's money and fame and stuff that comes along with it, but the, the, the Stephanie McMahon that we see today isn't the Stephanie McMahon from the Attitude Era. It's not like she, you know, she's really the the hottest chick in the bunch, you know, <laughs> that's got to be love, <laughs> I mean, that, that's all I got to say, um, but I'm putting it out there, man, I honestly think Triple H is going to beat him, uh, I don't think that they have to use any backstage tactics, I think this is going to be the mania where we actually see him dead, I, th I think they're actually going to kill the Undertaker is what I think they're going to do inside this, I think that if Triple H keeps saying he's going to have to do whatever he has to do to win this match because he was so close last year and, and he was, you know, he was almost there. He just made the one mistake just like Sean did. And he's not going to make that mistake again. Um, I remember last year when the, when the stretchers came out, I don't think I've ever seen in my whole, you know, wrestling career of being a fan or whatever the hell I am. I don't think that I ever saw you know, anybody ever helped The Undertaker up. No matter what happened, he got his ass up and he got his ass, you know, helped to the back. Nobody even really came out and helped him. Everybody thought he broke his neck at WrestleMania 25 against Sean. Uh, they just let him lie there, you know, knowing that, you know, whatever was going to happen, he was going to scrape his ass and get it back in the ring. Um, uh, you know, when they came out to help him, I remember looking at, uh, you know, my friends just saying, is he dead? The fuck's going on? You know, you don't cart out The Undertaker. Um... And I thought they killed the character. I thought that, you know, he should have made some way to get up the ring. And, you know, they know they're using that against him right now. But um, he left everything he had, and he barely won last year. You put him inside the hell in the cell, and Triple H is going to kill him. <laughs> I mean, there's there's no way to stop him once he gets his hands on that sledgehammer or anything that he's going to do. I don't think these two guys are going to be fools and get up on top of the cage. I don't see that happening. I see them using the inside of the cage as much as they can. And uh, it's... It's going to be badass, but Triple H is going to win. I'm calling it right now.